Rick, what's dependency injection? It sounds like something I'd get from a doctor. Close, Morty. It's about giving an object what it needs instead of letting it find it on its own. Dependency injection, or DI, is a fancy term for a simple idea. If an object needs another object to do its job, you give it that object. So, you inject it. Why is that a big deal? Why not just let the object get what it needs? Because that makes your code a rigid, brittle mess. When an object has to create its own dependencies, it's tightly bound to them. With DI, the object doesn't care how it gets its dependencies, only that it has them. This makes your code more flexible. Can you give me a less confusing example? Fine. A car needs an engine, right? In a non-DI world, the car object would create its own engine. In a DI world, you would create the engine outside the car and then pass it in. The car has no idea how the engine was built, it just knows it has one. How does that help with, like, testing? Testing, Morty, is where this really shines. Because you can pass in any dependency, you can inject a fake test-only version of any object. This makes testing isolated and much faster. So what's the catch? It can be a little more work up front. You need to set up a system to manage all the dependencies and inject them where they need to go. For simple, pathetic programs, it's overkill. So what's the big idea here? The big idea is to create decoupled modular code. It makes your code reusable, easier to maintain, and far easier to test. It's a fundamental design pattern for building robust and scalable applications that won't fall apart. Let me know in the comments if you ever use dependency injection.